The Risk Triangle In cybersecurity we use the risk triangle to help us better understand risk. Because there is a relation between security and risk. Security is the opposite of risk. More risk means less security and more security equals less risk. Seems straightforward as a general principle. That security and risk are closely related. So the risk triangle can be used to help organizations identify, assess, and prioritize risks. We can then make informed decisions about how to manage risks. By understanding the relationship between threats, vulnerabilities, impacts, and risks, organizations can allocate their resources to the areas that are most important and have the greatest potential to reduce the overall levels of risk. The risk triangle is often used in combination with other risk management tools and techniques to provide a comprehensive understanding of risks facing an organization. Let's look at the risk triangle. On one side of the triangle there is the presence of a potential threat. These are the hazards, accidents, attackers, viruses, cyber criminals, and other threat agents. These are the potentially bad things that might happen or individuals that may cause problems, such as a cyber criminal seeking to attack you. This can also be a disgruntled employee who contributes to creating risk, as presented in our video about the fraud triangle. The fraud triangle helps understand how a disgruntled employee can justify what they do and become a threat agent. On the other side of the risk triangle is the vulnerability. Vulnerabilities are weaknesses, such as the different bugs, configuration errors, and other problems that may be found and exploited by a threat agent. In the fraud triangle, the knowledge that vulnerabilities are there can contribute to creating an opportunity for the cyber criminal, disgruntled employee or threat agent. Finally, at the bottom of the risk triangle we have risk exposure. This refers to how an organization is exposed to a potential risk. It has to do with the potential impacts or potential damages that could occur, should the risk materialize. The impacts are connected to the CIA triangle, as the impacts relate to the security objectives, expressed in reference to confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Because an impact is a negation of these security objectives. If information needs to stay confidential, then if it becomes known, there is an impact on confidentiality. In the same manner, integrity and availability can be impacted. Another potential impact that needs to be considered is the potential of financial losses should the risk materialize. Cybersecurity managers must keep in mind that it is not always about money. It is often about money, but not always. Sometimes the link to money is a distant one. A disgruntled employee might want to get revenge and would want to create problems. The same can be said about hacktivists, terrorists, or state-sponsored agents, who are motivated by ideals that they consider legitimate. It's an oversimplification to say that it's always money. But often the goal is to steal money, or to steal something that can be converted into money. As mentioned previously, risk happens through the exploitation of the vulnerability by a threat agent. This is where the threat agent will exploit, or take advantage, of a vulnerability, resulting in the potential risk exposure becoming an actual, materialized, negative outcome, such as a financial loss or material damage. Risk is achieved through this process of exploitation, where something bad happens. In cybercrime, criminal intent plays a role in taking advantage of a vulnerability. When the exploitation of the vulnerability by the threat agent occurs, the result is risk if there is a negative outcome, such as a financial loss. When risk is managed, managers are fundamentally trying to do two things. Reduce the probability that the threat will exploit the vulnerability, or reduce the impact should the exploitation happen. This is how cybersecurity professionals manage risk using tools, techniques, and business processes. Thanks for watching.